Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to use Turnitin's originality version, the new version which has come with both plagiarism and AI supported format. First of all, what you have to do is you have to go to the page link which has been provided by your Turnitin provider. Okay, I am not showing the link here because the link varies from one university to another university. So what you have to simply do here is you just need to go to that link after the link you will see a dashboard appearing in this format now what you have to simply do is you have to fill the username your email and you have to give the password here and then you just need to click on sign in once you click on sign in you will see it will redirect you to the dashboard the turnitin's originality dashboard in this dashboard in order to upload and get the report what you have to do here is you just need to click on the launch here just click on the launch once you click on the launch you will see the dashboard appearing like this in this you will see a green color button here called upload in this upload button you just need to click on that now you can drag and drop a file or you can select a file so I am selecting a file here and after this you it will ask you to add a title here you can even edit the title here or you and you can leave it as it is and you can just fill a name here anything as of your wish so after that only the most important part comes here index to your repository you should not tick it if you tick it what it does it it saves your document in Turnitin's database so please be mindful of this without ticking only you have to just confirm after confirming you will be redirected to a page like this in this dashboard you will see the similarity of the document which we uploaded right now is processing it will take up to two to three minutes sometimes it might vary as per the word count of the document so i uploaded a word count which is around thousand words so the similarity came here so first of all what you have to do is you have to click on the similarity here so once you click on it it will redirect to the dashboard called turnitin's originality studio so in this studio you can see here the document got opened so here what you can easily see is the similarity and the ai writing so here first step what you have to do in order to download the similarity report is you have to go to filters option here click on the filters and then you just need to scroll down here now what you have to do is you have to select and apply all this the, the the first three and if you need to exclude small matches also you can select and apply so after this you just need to apply after applying only the original percentage appears here similarity percentage appears here okay so now what you have to do here is you have to click on the download button which is shown up here click on that now click on the similarity report first so once you click on the similarity report in this site you will see the downloading similarity report tab here so it might take up to one to two minutes in order to download the reports just be patient in this page itself you will see the report gets downloaded in one to two minutes it depends on the word count which you have uploaded to the Turnitin and it depends on uh, like in the sense uh, if the internet speed is in the lower side also it might take some time in order to download the report so even in my case also the internet is a bit slow so you can see the report got downloaded here so after that what you have to simply do is you just need to click again the download button here and in the last you can see Turnitin's AI report click on that so once you click on that again the AI report started downloading here just be patient in the page itself it will be downloaded Yeah.
yeah, you can see the report got downloaded. So after downloading both the reports, if you are using a shared version of this, it's better to delete it from the inbox. So okay, and you can permanently delete it as well. So I'm showing you first after that, what you have to simply do is after downloading both the reports, you just need to close the page. And now you can see we are in the second page. Now here you can see the select option is there. Click on that and you can see the delete option is here. Click on delete. So once you delete the file goes. Then you have to go to the trash here. Now select the document here and select permanent delete. Yes, delete forever. After that you just need to log out from the account so if you need this kind of private account on your own email that can be activated please see the description on how to get the account i have mentioned it below so you can contact me in that option and you can uh, get the uh, turn it in account on your own email hope you have enjoyed this video and learned about it i'll catch you in another video on giving information on how and what are the new updates which turnitin has given thank you have a good day bye